finally brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might I come in the name of the Lord Jesus every sickness in your body I don't know what is called but there is a name higher than every other name another mention of that name every knee has got to bow every sickness has got to bow whether in the heaven or in the earth or under the earth every time shall confess that Jesus is Lord I command sickness to come out I command sickness to come out I command barrenness to come out high blood pressure come out disease come out I don't know what you're going through there is power here today it will set you free it will deliver you it will lose you I don't know how long you have suffered there is power here it will set you free it will lose you I don't know who you are but get ready you are God is a battle too. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God will do, it shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power 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 on your side. Lift one hand, shot fire. Lift another hand, shot fire. Raise one leg, shot fire. Raise another leg, shot fire. Turn around, shot fire. Scatter yourself, all the fire. Yeah. Yeah. I have confidence in you, Jesus. I have confidence in you. Savior, I have confidence in you all. Any time, any day, I have confidence in you. Jehovah, I have confidence in you. Jesus, Jesus.
Hallelujah. Book of Esther. Chapter number dos. <laughs> Ubaliai. Chapter number dos, verse number ocho. <laughs> For our unlearned friends in the house, what I said was... Esther chapter number 2 from verse number 8. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ought to have fun in God's house. You can't come to just squeezing face like monkey licking lemon. <laughs> Pull on someone and say relax, relax, relax. I am a Akabayalata Kamusaye my God, my God. The Bible says we're going to read in context for sake of emphasis. Book of Esther, can we back up now to verse number five? The Bible says in Shoshan, the citadel, there was a certain Jew named Mordecai, the son of Jael, the son of Shemai, the son of Kish, a Benjamin. And Kish had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captives who had been captured with Jeconiah king of Judah. When whom Nebuchadnezzar the king of Babylon had carried away. And it was Mordecai who had brought up Hadassah that is Esther his uncle's daughter for she had neither father nor mother. The young woman was lovely and beautiful. When her father and mother died, Mordecai took her as her own daughter. Mm. Run to verse number 8. It says, So when the king's command, the decree was heard that many young women gathered together as Shushine, the citadel, under the custody of Haggai that Esther also was taken to the king's palace in the care of Haggai, the custodian of the women. And now the young woman pleased him and she obtained favor and so he readily gave her beauty preparations to her. Besides all her allowances, then seven choice maid servants were provided for her from the king's palace and he moved her uh, and her maidens to the best place of the palace of the women and Esther had not yet revealed oh her people or her family for Mordecai had charged her not to reveal it and every day Mordecai paced in front of the court of the women's quarter to learn of Esther's welfare and what had happened to her everybody verse 12 and each young woman's turn came to go to the king Harusarus after that she had completed 12 months of preparation according to the regulation of women for those where the days of preparation appointed six months of the oil of myrrh six months with perfume and preparation for the beautific, beautifying of women and those prepared each young woman 
ah, and went to the king and she was given whatsoever she desired to take uh, with her from the women's quarter to the king's palace in the evening she went and in the morning she returned to the second house of the women to the custody of Shezgaz the king's eunuch who kept uh, the concubines and she would not go to the king again unless the king delights in her and called her by name verse 15 everybody now when the turn came for Esther I wish somebody was shouting right there the daughter of Abihail, the uncle of Mordecai who had raised her, taking her as her daughter to go to the king. She required nothing but that which Hekai, the king's eunuch, the custodian of the women, advised. And Esther obtained favor in the eyes of all who saw her. And so Esther was taken to King Herusarus into her royal place on the tenth month which is the month Tibet thank you Jesus I read all of this but my emphasis is in verse number 15 that first line it says when the turn came for Esther touch your neighbor says my turn oh please walk out of your seat prophesy to seven persons say there is a wind blowing there is a wind blowing a wind of favor is blowing because it is your turn there is a wind of favor that is blowing to you please prophesy prophesy it is your turn it is your turn it is your turn it is your turn the wind of favor hey Ubarada. God bless you. Sit down, cross your leg. Sit down in favor. <laughs> Ubara. He said, When the time of Esther was come, I want to submit to you that life is turn by turn. I said life is turn by turn. There is something about your turn. When it is your turn, it is your turn. The turn of one man cannot stop the turn of the other. It may be somebody else's turn yesterday, but I'm hearing God to tell you, it is your turn now. I said it is your turn now. I said it is your turn now. Listen when I tell you. There is something about your turn. When it is your turn. I, I need depth. When it is your turn. No devil can stop you. When it is your turn. Even though the altars of your father's house. The witches in your village. The sangomas in your hometown. Even if they come together. Don't say no to your ears. When it is your turn. It is your turn. Where I am from. They say when it is turned for the rooster to crow, it will crow. That is why no matter the darkness of the night, when it is time for the sun to rise, it will break out. That is why they call it daybreak. Because there was darkness that hindered the sun. But when the time came for the sun to rise, it broke out to the darkness. I am here to prophesy. I don't know the darkness that has held you. I don't know the power that has hindered you. But I hear God to tell you, it is your turn. I say it is your turn. I say it is your turn. I say it is your turn. And because it's your turn, no devil can stop you. Because it's your turn, no altar can hinder you. No foundation, no principality, no power, nothing high, nothing low can stop you. I prophesy. Somebody say it is my turn. It is my turn. It is my turn. It is my turn. Somebody don't understand. Because you don't know what is about to happen. 
because what is happening now has started many years ago because the woman Esther that is about to receive a turnaround for many years God has been eyeing her the eyes of God had been upon this girl she didn't know the Bible puts her as an orphan she didn't start out life in a pretty way can I tell you that every story has a every glory has a story we read her glory today we see her being coronated we see her becoming queen but can I tell you why you are celebrating her glory I would to God you understand her story pull on someone say neighbor you don't know my story you don't know my story if I told you my story you will wonder how in the world I am still right in the mind you will wonder how come I didn't blow my brains out listen to me there are many of you now your story is in the making little do you know that all you are going through is only a story to set you up for a glory that is about to be revealed when they start out Esther Esther started as an orphan she lost her father she lost her mother she didn't go to school nothing was working for her but unknown to her that despite all these factors when the hand of God is upon you when it's your turn for a blessing your background don't matter your degree don't matter your qualification don't matter I am prophesying as you hear the sound of my voice 2024 it is your turn it is your turn it is your turn it is your turn Hala fire yeah 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 please don't mess up my sound I need my depth leave it there please sit down Baratuskaba Gibadoskapaya can I talk to you the story of Esther began many years ago because sometimes when God changes your life it looks like overnight when we look at it it looks like it happened overnight but it's not overnight it's over time say neighbor what is about to hit you may look like it happened overnight but it is over time someone is over time oh yes the story of Esther begins in chapter 2 and verse number 5. The Bible began to tell us in the days, he said her forefathers, a man in Shoshine, the citadel where the Jew was, there was a man named Jair because Esther came, Esther was not a Persian because this is a lady that God is raising to become a prime minister in a foreign land. This is someone who has no document, has no, no reference, no... He has no, 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 no pedigree. But yet God is going to raise her from a low estate to come to the highest office in the land. This was a woman that is an immigrant. Can I talk to you? That is like someone coming to a nation like America has no reference, has no document. But yet look at him about to walk in the White House. I am prophesying to somebody because what is a battle hit you? It will swallow your reference. Are you hearing me now? It is not your qualification. God will favor you. I said God will favor you. I said God will favor you. Somebody have a favor. Look at it. Look at it. The story of Esther begins. It said in Shushine, there was a man named Mordecai, the son of Jaya, the son of Shammai, the son of Kish, a Benjamite. Who was this man? Many years ago, the Bible says an enemy invaded Israel and took everybody captive. Kill those who they wanted to kill. And the Bible said they took certain men captive. Among those that they killed were the parents of this girl called Esther. Can I submit to you? Her name was not Esther. Her name was Hadassah. Somebody say Hadassah. Hadassah is her Jewish name. Esther is a Persian name. In order to hide herself, she called, she changed her name. But listen to me. The Bible says in the days in verse 6, when the enemy came, they captured every body in Israel. They brought them into Babylon as slaves. They came in ridiculed. They tied their hands. They tied their feet. They brought them down. When you read in Psalm 30, 
37 and 1, Psalm 137 and 1, you will see what happened on the day they brought them into each into Babylon. The Bible say on the day that they arrived, they brought them in a settlement. It was around the river called River Chiba. And the Bible says by the river Babylon, he said, we sat down and we wept. He said, they come and fly with me. Psalm 137 and 1. He said, by the river Babylon. Psalm 137 and 1. He said, by the river Babylon. There we sat down. Yea, we wept. He said, we remember Zion. In verse number 2, we hung our harp. Harp is a music instrument. They were going through so much trouble. They had to hang their harp. Sometimes in life, you go through so much pain. You go through so much sorrow. You lose song. And life becomes meaningless. They were going through so much pain. We hung our harp. In verse number 3, the Bible says, They that carried us away. The King James, the old King James. He said, They that wasted us. He said, They that wasted us. They that carried us away. Required us a song. They that wasted us. They wasted us. And they were mocking us. Sing now. Are you not an Omega child? Sing now. That church you are going to. You are a Christian. You carry Bible. What is God now? All the time you have been paying. You are in church. Where is that God? Sing now. They began to mock them. See, listen, people of God. There comes a time in life. God seems to be so far away. You are going through hell. You are going through high water and it seemed like God don't forgot you. Listen to me. Even Jesus on the cross he came to a point. He cried out, Eli, Eli la maxa bactanai listen to me. The fact that you are a Christian does not exempt you from trials. The fact that you are a Christian does not exempt you from trouble. But I heard him say, yeah though I walk through the valley and the shadow of death. I fear no evil. Can I talk to you you may go through hell you may go through high water but it will not drown you there are many of you you've been so close to hell your clothes smell like smoke but you are still here not by power not by might if it had not been for the Lord that was on your side where would you be but you are here today by the mercy of God somebody said thank you Lord come and say thank you Lord come and say thank you Lord my God, my God, my God, look at this now. Let, 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 let me go somewhere now. All of this is happening. When you study the book of Esther very well, the first thing I will jump at you is that in the book of Esther, the word G-O-D is not written. Turn my base down. In the book of Esther, the word G-O-D is not written. But yet, the book of Esther is a book of hope. The book of Esther is a book of remembrance. A book of redemption. The book of Esther is a book of divine preservation. The book of Esther is a book of divine provision. But yet, the one that wrote the book hid his name. The question is this, is this an error? Or was this a deliberate attempt? It's like a, it's like a, a masterpiece, a painting that an artist would paint a masterpiece and would not sign his name. It's like a bestseller that an author will write, but yet does not put his name. Why does God write a book like this? When you read the book of Esther, you will find mighty, the mighty hand of God. He lifted a peasant, a girl with no degree, with no pedigree, rose her to become number two in the land. In the day when Haman made himself an enemy of the Jew, we saw God. The Bible says that Haman wrote a bill, passed a legislation that every Jew should be killed, executed, annihilated. Sir, with a stroke of a pen, he was going to wipe out the Jew. But how come somehow, somehow, the table turned around that the gallo, that Mordecai, that Haman prepared for Mordecai, it turned around and the gallo took the maker. How come that God is giving such deliverance and yet does not reveal himself? Can I talk to you? The book of Esther is not very far from the life that you and I live in. There is a reason why God deliberately omits his name because God is trying to see can you look between 
the lies of your life so you can see that how come you are still alive you just came through COVID one million died in the United States but you are still alive was it your mask was it your vaccine was it social distance can you discern that it was God that preserved you can you discern it was God that protected you if it was not for God many of you you could have been dead you could have been forgotten you could have been in memorial they could have been bringing flowers to your grave they could have been doing your memorial now but you are here hey tell your neighbor I'm still here say neighbor I'm still here not by power because some of you look at what God did for Esther look at the divine lifting divine provision from nobody he becomes somebody from who are you he becomes how are you from a peasant to become a celebrity who do we thank who do we appreciate who do we say thank you to who is behind this so can you look at your life and say there has to be a God I didn't get here by my resume I didn't get here by my might I didn't get here by my power they had to be God tell your neighbor it is God say it is God it is God when you buy your house was it your credit was it a loan tell your neighbor it is God you traveled on the airplane you landed it is God you went to sleep you woke up you are still alive say it is God tell your neighbor can you discern God can you discern God because now we are living in a world we are folk they graduate from high school and they put hashtag self-made they get a big job they put on your on your status hashtag i'm a self-made millionaire you bought a house thank god for my 750 credit you get a new car thank god i paid cash you said nobody helped me i came here by my, you are a joker shut up if god took your oxygen where will be your money if god snatch your oxygen what would your credit score do for you high five your neighbor said don't be arrogant it is god it is god he kept you you woke up this morning it was not your alarm it was not your alarm if you don't believe me carry your alarm to the mortuary set it off the people there they will be deader than dead it was not your alarm it was the lord he woke you up this morning he set you on your right now say it is god It is wisdom. It is wisdom. That is why when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you do, you don't grab your phone. You don't go hell with your phone. You go on your knees. Father, thank you for waking me up. And my life. And my life. Tell your neighbor it is God. It is God. See what God does. In all of these miracles, he hides his name. Which one of you which one of you? Which one of you? Which one of you here? We do so much good like this and remain anonymous. Imagine you park your car. Sit down. Imagine you park your car downtown and you paid some money. But unknown to you, what you paid was running out. And here, here comes the meter man. He's about to issue a ticket, a fat one. In fact, not just slap your thing with a boot. And have it told. And here comes someone. Here comes you. And goes there right before the man comes and gives you a citation. He drops in seven quarters. Heck, he dropped in a quarter. Seven is just a quarter. Now he don't bought you 25 minutes. Now you came out in the nick of time. You got in your car. There was no boots. It was not booted. It was not told. You went there and you go chim chim. Open your car, got in. <laughs> you sped off. Which one of you will not see that neighbor tomorrow in church? He said, You didn't thank me. You are very ungrateful. See what I did for you. They could have towed your car, 
But I put 25 cents, 25 cents or 25 cents, 25 cents. All you put in there was 25 cents, but now you are trumpeting it. You put 25, I was the reason they didn't tow your car. I was the reason. You will tell him, until, not that you want it back, oh, but you want him to know. I put 25 cents. Ah, the devil came last night to snatch your life just at the nick of time. Messi said no. The devil tried to take you out, but Messi said no. It was your time to go, but Messi said no. You were guilty as charged, but Messi said no. What shall I render unto God for his goodness and his mercy? Come on and magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. There are many of you, you could have been dead. Your time was up, but God put a time. He gave you life. He gave you hope. He turned your life around. Who do we thank for his goodness? Who do we thank? So God has his name. He wants to see. Can any of them be able to say no? No, no, I'm not, I'm not this smart. I'm not this smart. There has to be a divine hand. An invisible hand. Can you come home and get into your house? Even though God is not visible, but you see his visible hand. In this journey you just went to. You see his visible hand. In the fact that you are where you are today. Tell your neighbor is the Lord. It is your wisdom to read it and say, no, no, no. There has to be a God. There is a God. No, no, this is not just a coincidence. You know in the book of John, John chapter number 21, in verse number 5, when the disciples, after Jesus rose from the dead, the Bible says they all began to, they were all confused. And Peter said, I'm going fishing. And they went to the shore, began to fish. The Bible says that night they caught nothing. They tried left, not, they, no fish. The river closed. But while they were washing their net, a stranger approached in the cover of the night and said, children, have you any meat? Jesus said, children, have you any meat? They did not know it was Jesus. They said, no. And he says, cast your net to the other side. And they cast their net to the other side. Suddenly, there was a harvest. It was so much they couldn't draw it. In verse 7, the Bible says Peter was busy collecting the fish. Busy. But the Bible says, and the disciples whom Jesus loved, his name is called John the Beloved. He said, Peter, hold on. This is not dumb. This was the same water we have been trying to fish out of. We have done everything not to do. This thing didn't produce. Hold on. It is not your hold on. It's not your hold on. It is the Lord is the Lord. The Bible said the moment Peter saw that, he threw away his garment. He left the blessing and run for the blesser. He left the blessing and we go for the blesser. Child of God, it is the Lord. I say it is the Lord. He kept you. He protected you. It is the Lord. 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 I need to move quickly. But time will fail me. The Bible says in the city of Shoshan, there was a, pro, a, a quarrel, a domestic issue that happened between the husband and the wife. A powerful king called Haruseros and a queen called Vashti. You know the story. Haruseros was having a party. The Bible says he invited his, his wife to parade her to his friends. For some reason, the wife refused to come. And the king grew angry and dissolved the marriage in anger. The Bible says when the anger was resolved, he began to remember his wife. Pull on someone say, neighbor, no matter how angry you are, don't make a decision. Any decision you make in anger, you will regret it. 100 percent. I don't like how they talk to me. I don't like it. I don't take nonsense from nobody. I don't take nonsense, man. 
Jennifer baby. I quit. <laughs> you quit on Friday. Monday morning, pastor. <laughs> Please join me prayer. <laughs> I'm going for this interview. Please don't give me prayer points. Calm down. <laughs> Tell me about don't decide in anger. Number two, this is free. This is free. Free. Never send a text message in anger. It's free. Oh, this is free. Oh, free. Free. You are just angry. <laughs> Calm down. Number three, this one is also free. Oh, very free. Very free. Don't talk to your pastor when you're angry. I didn't say avoid him. Oh. I'm saying, don't do what? Let your mouth not go say something that he forgives you, but what is on his head begins to eye you. This is free. Oh. He said, Pastor, it's in the Bible. It's in the book of Elders. <laughs> is there in the book of Elders? Somebody says, My turn. Let me get you. Let me get you. It's my turn. Because if I enter book of elders, I won't leave. <laughs> book of elders? You know how to live. Avredes and Nariai. Candelis am I. I'm saying one month from today, somebody is entering a new vista. Somebody will experience new possibilities. Somebody will experience new doors. I wish you were receiving this prophecy. I said, God is changing your story. I don't know where you are, but God said to tell you, He's taking you to a new level. He's taking you to a new realm. Where eyes have not seen, where ears have not heard, what has not entered the heart of man, but it shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power on your side. Grace on your side. Lifting on your side. Lift one hand shot favor. Lift another hand shot favor. Raise one leg shot favor. Raise another leg shot favor. Turn around shot favor. Scatter yourself. Hala favor, favor, favor. Favor, 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 favor. Favor, 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 favor. Favor, favor, favor. Hala favor. Listen to me. All of these issues was happening in the palace. The jury is still out to figure out who was wrong. But was the king proud? Was the, was the queen rude? I don't care. God didn't come to be a marriage counselor. He came to preach good news. I don't know who was wrong. I don't know who was right. Leave that to the jury. All I know that all of this thing, all of these shenanigans was working together because a girl called Esther who was about to be lifted, her time has come. Paul or someone say, my time has come. Ayababa. All of these shenanigans was happening in the White House because somebody's time <laughs> in Labada Listen to me. When it is your time, God will destroy systems. When is your time, things will happen in the news. When is your time, things begin to happen. There are many hearing me today. I am hearing God to tell you, your turn is now. Your turn is now. You have wept. You have cried. You've been through hell. God said, I'm telling you. It is your turn, it's 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 your turn. And so, 
before you knew it, there was a vacancy in the highest office. I am mama. There is a vacancy for someone. There is somebody now looking for a job. I am on this altar with my knees bowed to the God of my father. I connect you to that vacancy. I connect you to that vacancy. I connect you to that vacancy. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. God was about to relocate a girl from where she was to where she needs to be. But the problem is this. Her seat was occupied. Her position, her position was occupied. Didn't you hear that we stand on Obediah chapter 1? Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance. And the house of Joseph shall possess their possession. So there was a possession that belonged to Esther. But another woman called Vashti was on that seat. But when her turn came, God fired her in order for Vashti. Open your hand. I want to fire somebody. Open your hand. I want to cause trouble. Wherever your blessing is, whoever is sitting down on your position, whoever is occupying your office in life, I fire them. I put you there. I remove them. I put you there. I remove them. I put you there. I remove them. I put you there. I say possess your possession. I say possess your possession. I say possess your possession. Somebody hell a fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now watch. And so because of this, there was a beauty pageant that was called. So you see, beauty pageant didn't just start yesterday. It's been on for thousands of years. They invited all the girls in the region. They said, come on out. And the Bible says, and Esther was added to this number. Now watch it. The Bible says, when you start from verse 13, when the girl went there, the Bible says she was giving items for her beautification. Camera this guy. You all read verse 12. It says, and each young woman's turn came to go before Haruseros after she had completed how many months? Oh, talk to me, church. 12 months of what? Preparation. Please mark this down. Where God is taking you, he must prepare you. In the realm, there is no double promotion. In your work with God, there is, you must go through the law of time and process. Are you hearing me? Tell somebody the law of time and process. There is no double promotion. No, sir. You must go through twelve. He said in the case of Esther, it was 12 months. 12 months of preparation according to the regulation of women. For those were the days of her preparation. Look at it. Six months with the oil of myrrh. Six months with perfume. Preparing for the preparation and for the beautifying of what? women to have one day to the king they prepared all these girls for 12 months imagine that ladies 12 months paid vacation nothing on the itinerary all you are doing from morning till evening is to tie your towel on your head huh put on your bathrobe go to the spa Seven days a week. Somebody say, I like that. <laughs> you don't have to clock in or clock out. Look at her smelling. <laughs> Imagine that. Imagine what that can do for you. Your skin color will just change. This is your blood pressure that is going to, it will just relax. Tie your hair every day. Bathrobe, manicure, and pedicure. That's how you are there. You just spread on the beach. Spread your nails like I am a tanga. <laughs> and somebody's there like Picasso just painting your nails. <laughs> she alone, she had six maidens. That is six, six chefs attending to her. Madam, would you like some pina colada? <laughs> he says, no, no, no. I just want orange juice freshly squeezed 
no pulp. Right temperature. <laughs> they bring all of these things in abundance. And there she is with cucumbers on her eyes. <laughs> Somebody said just massaging the leg. <laughs> From sun up till sundown. The finest cuisines. 12 months. You are laughing now. But I would to God. That you understand the book of Esther. All of this is what God is trying to make you know. That when you go through your trials and tribulation. See it as a spa. He said, Pastor, what do you mean? Because the book of Esther is a warped mystery. Because the beauty preparation you are seeing here. It's a coded prophetic language of trials and tribulation. She had to go through 12 months of hardship. 12 months of what looks like rejection. You say, how do you know that? The Bible says six months of the oil of myrrh. Somebody say oil of myrrh. If you know what myrrh is, myrrh is a bitter substance. It has a bitter substance. So now, when the Bible speaks of myrrh, it speaks of bitter experiences. There are some now for the past six months. You don't been through stuff. Only God knows. Forget. You know, when I, when I first became a pastor, when I see folk dressed nice, I say, wow. But now I realize, clothes covers a multitude of stuff. <laughs> so I don't get food anymore. <laughs> Kani Samaya. There are some folks driving what you call a nice car, but on the highway, it is tears. And they are worshiping. There are some who cry themselves to sleep at night. There are some who has a broken. They look at their life and say, what is going on? How did I get here? How am I going to come out? Their heart are in pain. Hearts are heavy. Child of God for the past six months. Day in, day out. Trials and tribulation. But ladies and gentlemen, the Bible does not call it pain. It calls it beauty preparation. Tell your neighbor, say, all you are going through. Say, neighbor, you see that thing you are going through is beauty preparation. Pull on someone, say, neighbor, you see the hardship you are going through. You see the pain you are going through. You see the ups and downs in your life. It is beauty preparation. That is why I heard him say, count it all joy when you go through trials and temptation. Knowing this, that the trial of your faith works patient. Say, neighbor, what you are going through is to beautify you to prepare you for where God is taking you somebody say Lord I don't have time but the Bible says six months of myrrh say six months of myrrh after six months you think a break came the next thing we see six months of perfumed in those days, when perfumers want to get their perfume, they carry substances and they crush it. They crush it to release the aroma. Sir, there are some things you go through crushing. You fast 21 days expecting a result. Now it came. Falls in your face. You say, oh God. Eli, Eli. Lamat Sabak tonight. Joseph came out of prison. The first question he asked is my father still alive? How can I be a child of God? I'm going to life is like this. How? How? And you know, sometimes when you're not careful, you come to your pastor and your pastor is trying to help you out of a 12 month situation. God said this is 12 months and here you are we are trying to help you and you think oh God maybe it's not listen to me if you got to go to 12 months 12 months you will go through it it doesn't matter how many prophets pray for you if they like they lay hand they dip you in oil they put you in oil oil on you now you are like plantain chips they lay hands they lay like they lay bomb bomb so 12 months is 12 months you will go through what you got to go through but listen when I tell you when it's all done and said you are coming out and is taking you to a land flowing 
with milk and honey for what you are going through it shall not be in vain for your pain he will give you gain for the story there shall be glory for the shame there shall be fame shall be yeah. The interesting thing is, look at this. The interesting part is this. These women, while they are soaking up all this oil, the intention, I told them in first, how many of you, do we have men here, you grill? Huh? You grill? Or you just do fufu? You got a grill? If you do, <laughs> let the men say hoorah. So if, if, if you love grilling and you want to take your grilling to the next level, you take a marinade. You take your filet mignon or your New York strip or your rib eye, whatever suits you. You put it in that Ziploc and pour the marinade and you lock it. Let it sit for like 12 hours or 24. The more the better. Because now what begins to happen is this. The, the, the marinade begins to perfume the steak. So you on your grill, slap it on, three, half, three and a half minutes on one side, three and a half minutes on the other side, and it comes out like, you know, medium well, with the pink in the middle. And then you have your grilled asparagus or brussels sprouts, whatever suits you. And you have your sweet mash on the side. Look at you, don't come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here, come back here. You are gone. Say, Pastor, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. When you caught into that steak, if you're like me, you, you speak in tongues. Kaba. Mara teriyai. The moment you bite that steak, it perfumes your mouth. But how did it get in there? It has been soaking up. Listen to me. You will go to the store to buy perfume. To smell nice. You will go to the store to buy cologne. To, these women will never have to buy cologne. What you are buying, they don't got it through experience. Now, the moment they come out of that experience, for the next several months, their whole skin is smelling like perfume. Are you hearing me? Because for the next, for the past 12 months, they have been absorbing this aroma in their body. Listen to me. The aroma that is exuding now, they didn't just put it on last night. They have been going through experience. Listen Listen to me. What you go through in life. Listen to me. There are things it does in you that you can't get through prayer. You can't get through fasting. You got to go through certain stuff. At the end of the day, the result of it is glory. He said, "Why we look not at the things which are seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal." At the end of twelve months, watch it now. You are going somewhere. All of this to prepare them for one night. The Bible says when the turn of the girls came. The first one said I'm happy is my first. I'm the first. The Bible says whatsoever the girls desired. Whatsoever. It says doors. Whatsoever the girls desired. In other words anything you think will help you to win this battle. The Bible says they began to go shopping. One wore Louis Vuitton. One wore Prada. And went in there and began to display. The king looked at her. He said, you have 12 months to prepare. And this is all you got. Here, that's the exit. Walk out. The moment the other people heard that the, the most beautiful among them has been exed, they all began to tighten their belt. The other one said, because that one went there and wore a long gown. That is why the king, the person said, no, tear the thing. Tear, 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 tear. Toy it all the way here. They to, they toy it all, toy it all the way here. This time she didn't wear, and it was winter. She didn't wear a coat. She wore she wore spaghetti top. She wore with the back open. You know that one? Huh? She with the back with her, everything was open. She went there, not nothing on. She went there because she thought life is by power. She thought life is by mind. Listen to me. The race is not to the swift. It's not your resume. So you need an element of grace. You need what they call favor. Tell somebody, give me favor. There are some who are, who are trying to attempt life. 
with all their mental prowess. And so here comes the girl. As she opened the door, Slay Queen, come and see cat walking. before the king dropped her pen like it, it fell on purpose the king said what is this 12 months 12 months and you have not learned anything you have been in church all these years you have not learned anything you are still, you are still, you are still so carnal we still beg you to come to church. We still beg you zip your pants. You have not learned anything. Twelve months. You still watch pornography. For where God is taking you. Twelve months. And you are still sleeping around. They don't tap all your current. They tap everything. At this point now, even LED, LED, you can't light it. They are tapped you dry. Maria, sir. For where God is taking you, there is a price of purity. You must pay it. Sir, the first sign we know that you are ready for destiny is that you part ways with sin. You part ways. All this grace church will be attending. You know, God loves you. He just cares about you. He don't mind you drinking like a fish and smoking like a chimney. Just as long as you just say, God, just as I am with all trembling, all down, down, was sent for me. You are not ready. You are not ready for destiny. You are not ready. How do we know you are ready? The day you tell your boyfriend, the last time you touched me is the last time you touched me. Ask a man, there is a Maria. Sir, there is a consequence you realize. You tell yourself, I will never again. Because in destiny, you cannot eat your cake and have it. No, sir, you can't. Because it don't touch you wrong. You cannot eat your cake. You, see, you can have Potiphar's wife all you want, but you will never have the palace. You can eat the tree all you want, but you'll be kicked out of the garden. God will forgive you. When you understand consequence, you are healed. It will heal you. That, that appetite of sin, it will die to the root. This is second service now. Look, no space. People are standing. This, this is a, we have to put a new row here now. We are, there is, people are standing. Look around. People are standing. Second service. Eight years ago, I made up my mind. I will never again. Eight years ago, I met a man of God called Suleiman. He told me the plan of God for my life. As he was talking, something told me. You like what he's telling you? You see that place you are going? Stop it. This thing you do, stop it. Sir, I took my destiny by force. There are some hard choices you make today. And for the rest of your life, you are grateful. At this level of destiny, we are begging you to live holy. He ain't that fine. What shall a man give in exchange for destiny? How am I? To the glory of God, I've been to almost 90 countries in my life. 90. At Mexico now. Almost 91. A woman does not come to my hotel room. How am I? Don't throw your life away. Over five minutes of pleasure, don't throw your life away. Because there are people waiting for you. May you show up. Pull on someone and say, show up. Show up! Because if you don't show up, God will find a new vessel. Can I submit to you? If I didn't show up, Omega will be here. And that pastor will be here. Because the plan of God cannot change, but the vessel can be changed. Can I say it again? The plan, listen, you see, we have been in a church now. Eh? We have been in a church. If God has told you to sow into that building project, whether you sow, you don't sow, it will be built. Are you hearing me now? 
he will raise another vessel. He said to Esther, who knows if God has made you queen for such a time as but just in case you feel like you don't want to be disturbed, he will raise help from another place. Can I tell you the beautiful ones are not yet born. That's why I beg you choir. Anytime God is being humble, he can raise tons to do what you are doing. Are you hearing me? Tell him be humble. At the end of the day, after six months, after 12 months, all them jokers, they are paraded, done everything they learned on YouTube, none worked. It was time for a girl. I like her introduction. Put it back there for me. Kandari Skaba. He said, when the turn came for Esther, please watch, oh, see what Bible is doing. See, pull on someone say, see what Bible is telling you. When it came for the turn of Esther, the daughter of Abihel, who's the uncle of Mordecai. Listen to me. She had no father. She had no mother. But there was a grace that was speaking for her. The Bible says her uncle was called Mordecai. Mordecai was the pastor of Israel in those days. The Bible said the grace of her uncle began to speak for her. When they Time came, the daughter of Mordecai, the Bible says, he says, she did not require anything. She did not join all them other jokers. She didn't ask for Prada. She didn't ask for Louis Vuitton. She didn't ask for Dolce and Gabbana. All she asked for, he said, you, I have been observing you. You are the king's eunuch. His name was called Hegai. I've been observing you. You have access to the king's corridor. The king sends for other people. But you, you have a private key. You go in and go out. You know what we don't know. He said, what you know the, what the king like. You know how he likes his coffee. You know his favorite. You tell me. You tell me. My will. Not my will. But your will be done. So you come to a point with God. You have so work with him. It's not what you desire. It is what he desire. Tell your neighbor that he may increase. That I may decrease. Not as I will. But as he wills. So this is how you know. A man that has worked with God. They are broken. They are contrite. It is no longer their will. For me to live is Christ. For to... Ah. Esther is your tongue. What do you want to wear? No. What should I wear? Kaya. Lay hands and say, Holy Spirit, walk on me. Because this man called the king's eunuch. Somebody say, Hegei. Hey, he said, she desired nothing but what? What? Hegei hey, recommended for her. Who is Hegei? Hey, the word Hegei, hey, H-E-G-I-A, literally means four things. Somebody say four things. Number one, it means the word. Somebody say the word. Number two, it means meditation. Number four, it, number three, it means separation. Number four, it means groaning. How many things? Number one, the word. Number two, meditation. Number three, separation. Number four, groaning. What does that suggest to you? The Holy Spirit. So who is the king's eunuch? Who is the king in this place? The king here is God. The eunuch here is the king. Esther. Is every man, you and I, what have you learned in your work with God all these years? Have you come, all of these things that you are going through, have you been learning? Have you been learning? This church you are in now, are you learning? Or are you still deciding, I don't know, this church, I don't know. You don't know why God brought you here. Listen to me. The Bible says, the, 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 the daughter Esther Esther didn't have parents biologically but she had spiritual parents your biological parents is a function of where you are coming from your spiritual parent is a function of where you are going are you hearing me now Sir, you may not have, you, you may not have a, a good pedigree, biologically speaking. Maybe no one in your family but listen to me, don't add that, that spiritually, you need a grace over your life it was Mordecai that raised Esther. God is raising you. I said God is raising you. Stand to your feet. 
Stand to your feet. Lift your hands. Lord, let your favor, favor of God, come upon my life. Now we are going to take our time to pray. We didn't have time in the seconds, in the first service. We are going to cry to God, oh God of heaven. Father, let your oil of favor, let it come upon my life. Let the wind of favor begin to blow for my faith. Come and say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, as I begin to pray, as I begin to pray, let your wind of favor, let the wind of favor, let it blow to my life. Let the wind of favor, let it blow in my life. I can hear you say, Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the wind of favor, let it blow in my life, let it blow in my life. People of God begin. let the wind of favor let it blow. The wind of favor Let the wind of favor her yeah the set oh. time has come you will cry out father is my set time listen 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 when you are praying you can't be cute you cannot be cute god does not respond to cuteness you must be hungry in your heart you must pray with desperation father he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for it time the time to favor her yeah the set time has come you will cry out he said thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now, you will cry and say, Father, 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 Father thou shall arise. Thou shall arise. Thou shall arise. Thou shall arise. And have mercy upon me. Mercy upon for me. For the time to favor, to favor me. Yeah, the set time yes, the set is time. now. Favor me. Favor me. Open your mouth. Lord, in your mercy. Favor me. 
favor in the eyes of a king. Hiya mama. Ladies and gentlemen, one day of favor can cancel a thousand days of labor. I say one day of favor. I am talking to God's people now. I say one day, one day of favor can cancel a thousand days of tears and labor. Lift your hands. The Bible say an Esther found favor in the eyes of the king I don't know who your king is I don't know who God is going to put in your life that will favor you that will help your career that will help your business that will help you from where you are to your next destination lift your voice say Father Father I can't hear you say Father Father in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as I enter 2024 as I enter 2024 
says Esther was carried from where she was to the royal house the place of her settlement Lord 2024 let your hand of favor the wind of favor carry me to my place of settlement oh my God oh my God I am telling you under God where Esther was is not where she was destined to be she was meant to be in the palace but when favor came it relocated her lift your hands lord by the hand of favor let the wind of favor in 2024 carry me to my place of rest of settlement everybody say father father father, father. Let your wind of favor carry me to my place of rest, of settlement, of rest, of settlement. Let your favor carry me to my rest, to fulfillment. Open your mouth. I connect the wind of God. There is a wind, there is a wind, there is a wind, there is a wind. He said the spirit blows where it wheels. We hear the voice. Where is coming from? Where is going? No man can tell. Stretch your hand. Lord, let the wind of favor. 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 Oh, let the wind of favor. Let the wind of favor. In the name of Jesus. From the altar. From the altar. From the altar, there are three persons here. Look at God. The first quarter of 2024, the wind of God is carrying you to your rest. Lord, where are they? Where are they? At the count of three, let the wind blow. Let it blow. Let it blow. Number one. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Hepa, 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 hepa. Number two. Lord, where are they? Where are they? The wind of favor. The wind of favor. The wind of favor. The wind of favor. Number three, take. 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 
the one that has no job carry them to their job at the count of three one two three
this yes by the favor of God I relocate you I relocate you I tear the garment of stagnation I tear it from your life receive favor receive favor
whatever the enemy have put on you to cover you let an angel remove it now and the bible says esther obtain favor in the eyes of all men i anoint you for favor anywhere your name is mentioned favor the lord favor you greatly favor you greatly I decree a new season in the family. On tege borati akai, sambratishka dele kome kaya de, sigrotania, elementoska. Please put your hands in my hands. Every one of you, put your hands. Alamatore kepaich kapala no bahata. be seated hallelujah if you're watching online share it now say it's my turn hashtag is my turn if you have not pushed the like button please push the like button now share it hashtag it's my turn it's my turn you must possess the word possess the season it's my turn it's my turn it's my turn it's my turn share it everywhere whatsapp share it it's my turn type it it's my turn write your name it's my turn. It's my turn. Write your name. It's my turn. It's my turn. If you have not liked it, please like the message. Push the like button and type it is my turn. Let's receive our tithes very quickly. When you are giving your tithe, hallelujah. Please, I want you to, if you want to, when you're writing a check, just write it out to Omega Fire Ministries. If you want to swipe your card, we have amazing ushers at the back of the sanctuary. They will swipe your card for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have several app systems. We have Venmo. We have Cash App. We have Zelle. Let me, let me pause and talk to you. Please listen to me. Listen to me. Can you, can you just give me, one, give me your, just one moment? Listen, listen. Would you turn around? Just turn. Turn. Look around you. Just turn. Turn. Please, everybody turn. Turn, look behind you. Should we still remain in this place? Huh? I, I'm asking you a question. Should we remain here? We have outgrown this place. We are long overdue. Listen to me. The reason I'm telling you this, because you are about to enter favor. And there are some doors that we open to you. Listen, can I, can I tell you something? Make a make, tell you say, Lord, if this thing when it happened, I am putting this towards the building project. Are we together now? Are we together, church? Yes. Come on, if you are with me, say I'm with you, Pastor. Yes. Look around. This is second service. Our children's room is busting to overflow. We need to leave. There is so much that God wants to do with us as a church. But we can't even begin to scratch the surface of it. And I'm appealing to you, every one of you in-house. And not just you in-house, but for those of you watching online. Join us to build the house of God. Tell yourself within the next three months, I want to do so, such, an, such an amount. It could be a, a very large number. That's what I'm saying. It could be now, it could be within three months. Join us collectively. Let us build the house of God. 
We can't remain here anymore. How many of you are with me? The greatest investment you can ever have in life is to say, you know, uh, the Jesus Christ was coming back from a crusade. He was tired. And they said, Master, please, you have to see him. He said, why? I'm tired. He said, he is worthy that you should see him. He said, why? Because he loves our nation and has what? And has built us a synagogue. The greatest thing you can do in this life is to build a church for God. Are you hearing me? To build the house of God. It's an investment that we speak for your generation. So if you are watching online and you are wondering how to, how to build the house of God with us, the information that has been shown to you now, right now on your screen, that's the information. Use that. Sow into the building project. Those of you in-house, consider giving into it. And I told you, anytime you give into the building offering, please make sure you write building project so we can separate it for the building project. Because we have a special account for that. May the Lord touch your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. Please, if you are giving your tithe, please step forward quickly. When, thank you, when you are giving your tithe, please step forward. In case you are not in the first service, we corrected that. It's no longer if, it's when. Hallelujah. Please come. Thank you, Lord. While you are coming, media, please update the screen with thanksgiving. Please listen, listen at this. By the grace of God on the 26th, somebody said the 26th of November. That is two Sundays from today. Next Sunday, the second Sunday after this. We are having our thanksgiving. You see, once a year we come together, just like the book of Esther. It is wisdom to look at your life and say, I ought to give God thanks. So we are coming together and our agenda on that day is to give God sacrificially to say thank you for the year 2023. Are we together? So next two Sunday is our annual Thanksgiving. Please don't, we are not coming here with yams or bananas. Hallelujah. Make sure it fits. You are coming to thank God. So be deliberate. Talk about it with your wife, with your husband. What shall I give as a thanksgiving offering for this year? Lord, behold your sons and daughters as they stand before you with their tithes. Lord, I'm asking, oh God, that the blessing that follows the obedience of tithing rest upon them. The Lord bless you by reason of your tithe. Lord, bless them with favor. Father, bless them with favor. The Lord bless you with favor. The Lord bless you with favor. The Lord bless you with favor. Father, bless them with favor. The Lord bless you 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 with favor. May the Lord bless you with favor. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me tell you something. By the grace of God, we began something in Tallahassee. We continued in Mexico. You know, there is something I'm learning about God. The more you begin to advance into a certain space, huh? When God sees it, He begins to give you grace in that direction. Are you listening to me? If you make up your mind to say, Lord, as you bless me, I want to be doing this towards the house of God. Watch out. By the grace of God, as it stands now, all crusades moving forward, by the, except it's maybe 28 hours long, we'll be having a bus, at least one or two, that we carry members. Are we together now? Yes. In Tallahassee, I did not tell anybody. I just, we took the bus from here to, to Florida. It was only $30 you paid for a seat because the church absorbed the cost. But thank God because we have sons and daughters who are, they are, they are listening to their pastor. The next one to Mexico, it was practically free. 
because members began to write, say, Pastor, no, no, you can't absorb the cost. Where, where I'm there, they began to call. I'm giving that, I'm giving that, I'm giving that. Before you know, the boss became free. By God's grace, we are doing boss. The time is coming. We will chatter planes. Are you hearing me? We will chatter planes anywhere in the world. Except we don't want to go. Except we don't. We will chatter planes. We are not a small church. Oh. No, no, no. Please make no mistake about it. We are not some corner church. Except we, we, we chatter planes. The whole thing. It will be waiting for us on the tarmac. He said, where are you going? Crusade. I am telling you, begin to practice it now. Why you are where you are. Become deliberate. Start intentionally to be liberal towards the house of God. Liberal. Just be liberal. Never be a stingy man or tight-fisted in the house of God. No, sir. You start from the hundred dollars you have. Start from there. Lord, this is my liberality towards the house of God. Watch it. He that is faithful in little. Mark my words. I'm, I'm glad it's on tape. I'm glad. What I'm telling you is now it's not 10 years old. It's, what I'm saying is not 10 years. It's not 10 years. By the grace of God, the time is coming. Our father's crusade. We will take off the hotel. We say, Papa, come and preach. I am not saying Houston, no. What are you using your money for? To what purpose is your blessing if the kingdom of God is not filling it? These are what God will look at in your heart to say this one, if I favor that one, he will know what to do with it. You are the one I'm talking about. The Lord bless you. If it's your first time worshiping, just wave your first, this is your first Sunday ever. Your first Sunday ever here. Anybody here, your first Sunday with us. First Sunday, please wave your hands. First Sunday, God bless you. It's your first, please keep waving your first Sunday. Keep waving it. Oh, God bless you. Keep waving your first Sunday. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. Oh, wow. God bless you. Can I, can I just greet you quickly? Please come. Please come to me. Come to me. Come, come. Please come, mommy. Your first time. Please come. Let me greet you. Please come. Your first Sunday. Please come. Come quickly. Your first Sunday. Let me greet you. God bless you. Church, keep on clapping. Rejoice, rejoice, church. The Lord bless you. I'm not going to hold you at all. I know we greeted last Sunday, but last Friday, but it's, a, it's expedient. I greet you again. You know, please, can you just tell them where you're from? For those who are not here on Friday. New Jersey. New Jersey. New Jersey, we are family. Jackson, New Jersey. Jackson, New Jersey. I'm from she, she's from here. Now, let me ask a question. You see, you know, you see every, every service I tell you, like, subscribe. Ma'am, how did you find us? How did you, where did, sir, where did you find us? My wife found you from the website. <laughs> so, this is why I tell you, please like it. I've never met you all, neither have you ever met us. But through our engagement on social media, the Lord is spreading our tentacles to the ends of the earth. So, would you, would you like and subscribe now if you have not done so? The Lord bless you. Thank you so much for traveling all the way from New Jersey to be with us. Church, can we just rise and just stretch your hands towards them? The Lord bless you. You will not return the way you came. Every burden in your heart that made you leave your place of comfort to come here to Houston, you are not going back with any of them. The God of this commission lift every weight from your shoulder wipe every tears from your eyes return back with testimonies return back and there is a new season in Jesus name mommy the Lord bless you Jesus name God bless you sir God bless you God bless you hallelujah glory to God why why so why God bless you mommy God bless you they got one already okay God bless you all right please celebrate God's please stand to your feet don't forget Tuesday is Bible study. What is happening the 26th of November? Are you coming to just dance? 
We will package you and go and dance outside. Hallelujah. Lift your thanksgiving offering. Take a seat of faith as we share the benediction. Take a seat of faith. Stand to your feet. Tuesday. Oh, please. All children, once we share the benediction, and I want to stay here with the children. As we are, I want to close. I have to close the service. Let those want to go, go, please. All children, for two back to back Sundays, I want to anoint you. The Lord gave me a revelation. My father confirmed, he said, do it back to back to back. So please, all parents, make sure your children are here. Back to back. I want to anoint them. They are not here with you. Bring their picture next Sunday. Are you with me? Hallelujah. Please take a Thanksgiving seat in your hand. Stand, stand. Take a seat of faith. Tuesday is Bible study. Say neighbor. Do you know the color of this church? On Tuesday evening. Repent. Bible study starts at 7, ends at 9, 8.30. Only 90 minutes. Lift up a seat, faith, everybody. Father, it will speak for us today. It will speak for us. Goodness and mercy will follow us. Grace and favor. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. Favor is on my side. Mercy on my side. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I come in the name of the Lord Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I don't know what it's called, but there is a name higher than every other name. Another mention of that name. Every knee has got to bow. Every sickness has got to bow. Whether in the heaven or in the earth or under the earth, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. I command sickness to come out. I command sickness to come out. I command barrenness to come out. High blood pressure come out. Disease come out. I don't know what you're going through. There is power here today. It will set you free. It will deliver you. It will lose you. I don't know how long you have suffered. There is power here. It will set you free. It will lose you. I don't know who you are. But get ready. You are God. It's a part of two. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. What God will do. It shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can pull you down. God is on your side. Power 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 on your side. Lift one hand, shot fire. Lift another hand, shot fire. Raise one leg, shot fire. Raise another leg, shot fire. Turn around, shot fire. Scatter yourself, all the fire. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, come on.